All right, now we're going to do some video editing. The footage that you downloaded from um, either the link from a Google Classroom or you went ahead and copied it off from computer number one. Um, now we're going to do some video editing in iMovie. So I'm in iMovie. I'm going to import media. I'm going to scroll down to the video. I'm going to click import selected. Okay. So once I've done that, I need to drag it down to the timeline. And if you want to have a better view of what the video footage looks like, kind of enlarge like the preview at the bottom of the timeline, if I hit command and the plus sign, it'll kind of spread it out. And now I can kind of have, oh, now I can see what I'm actually looking at. I want the giraffes. So just as about it, there we go. Leave my playhead there. I click down and I hit command B. It cuts that. Highlight it with yellow, hit the delete key. Look for the end of the video footage before it changes animals. And it's not finding what the map is. Okay, there we go. Command B. And then I'm going to click that and I'm going to delete it. Okay, now this footage is still 11.5 seconds. So if I go ahead and use my calculator and I multiply 11 seconds just to round down times. 24 frames. That's what you're working at. That's 264 pictures. So that that's really too long. I just want you to have like, you know, we're going to just do a second, 24 seconds. Uh, I mean, 24 frames per second. So if you just do one second, so I'm going to bring it, drop it down and see, you can see where the playhead itches, changes. I can see I'm going to maybe grab a third of it. Hit Command B. And we have previews. Okay, I'm going to delete. I'll do the 5.7 seconds. Okay, so 5.7. Actually, that's still probably too long. Command B. Now I've got it down to about 2.6 seconds. Delete key. And I'm going to go with that. All right, guys, so I'm in Photoshop, and now I'm going to take the video that we edited down in size, open it up into Photoshop, and make actual individual frames from that. Okay, so when I go to Photoshop, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to File, and I want to go ahead and click Import Video Frames to Layer. I'm going to go to my video file on my desktop, click Open. Okay, I've edited it down. You could, if you wanted to, um, even edit it further. If you feel like, oh, I still have too many frames, I can click and drag the slider bars down. So that's half of what I've already edited down. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right. So then if I scrub back and forth through the timeline, OK, that's, that's not bad. I got about 42 frames. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete some more of those. So I'm going to click on 31. Hold the shift key, 42, and I'm going to hit the trash can icon. And then it says, do you want to delete the frames? Yes. Okay, now I have just 30 frames. And so now I have my individual frames from the video footage. If I click the play button, I actually cycle through. It's a little bit slow. I think it's a little too slow. If I click the first frame, scroll down, hold shift, and then I select the time here and I hit other. Let's make it zero. So it just plays. It should speed it up. So now at the bottom, time's changed to zero. Click. All right, guys. So in Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to rotoscope. Rotoscoping is a, is a technique they used back in the day where animators would actually trace over um, film footage to get like a very realistic idea of motion. Um, it's called rotoscoping because the equipment they would use to project the image from the film strip to a piece of glass so that they could actually trace over it. Um, that equipment is called a rotoscope. Um, so if you're working in a team with another group of students, um, one to two other students, then what you're going to need to do is the video footage that you edited down in iMovie, that's what you guys are going to share. And you're going to decide, well, I'm going to do frames 1 through, you know, 15. You're going to do the next 15. And so if I'm going to just do the first 15 frames, then I'm not going to need 
all these other frames. So I'm going to click on 16 to 30 because say the other student I partnered with, they're going to do those 15 frames. So they would delete the opposite frames. So you don't have duplicates. Okay. So then I've got to hit my trash can icon. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to get rid of those. Okay. So I have the frames here. I have my layers here. All right. So I'm also going to get rid of these layers here. It didn't pick that up that I wanted those. Um, I know which frame is the last one because there's an eyeball icon on the side. That's what's visible. Hold the shift key, select those, hit the delete, and it's going to get rid of those. All right, starting at frame one, I'm going to click the icon to create a new layer. Oops, undo that. Okay, actually make sure you are on frame one. So on your frame and your timeline, make sure you're on frame one. I know I'm on frame one because in the layers palette, eyeball showing, I'm going to put a separate layer on top of it. Let me scroll down a little bit. And then with the rotoscoping, I'm going to adjust and pick the brush. And I created this layer because this is a layer that I'm going to draw on. It's like that piece of glass that animators back in the day would draw on. And then I'm going to hit Command and the plus symbol because I want to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to start out with some black here. And I'm using a uh, graphic tablet and a stylus. So now I'm just going to go in and I'm literally just tracing, tracing over this figure and I'm keeping it as close. So when you're working with another partner, this should look seamless. Like it should look like the same person did this animation. So you've got to make sure, okay, what brush settings are you using? What size of brush are you using? I'm going to use the space bar. I'm going to use the hand tool and I'm going to move it so that things are consistent. Even colors needs to be consistent. Okay. So I'm just tracing over it. I'm going to get this outline okay, of this giraffe. Okay, So the rest of it, I'm just going to kind of speed this up. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how you're going to take your um, file that you've rotoscoped and then you're going to export it as an animated gift. Um, so I'm going to, I'm in Photoshop again. I'm going to go to File. We're going to go to Export, Save for Web. And then this new window comes up. And then the biggest thing is I want to go to Save. I want to rename it. I want to make sure it's on my desktop. I'm going to call it Animal. And the format's fine at the bottom. Hit save. Okay, and then on your desktop, if I go ahead and minimize this, on my desktop is my actual animation. And I'm going to just throw it in here. And then it can actually play. You can see the one frame. Actually, it was a couple frames that I duplicated. And it loses.